Hello, hello, and welcome back to Ivy Lilia. This upcoming week is really stressing me out, so with studying for a big test, preparing for different extracurriculars, all on top of my usual classwork. So, this is how I plan for my week to make sure I'm productive and stay calm amidst so much to do. First, I use Google Calendar for everything. I put all of my assignments, club commitments, and class schedules in at the beginning of the year, and I really like the flexibility of being able to move assignments or deadlines around digitally. Then I put everything that's date sensitive for the week into my planner. I created this planner myself to specifically fit what I need, which is being able to see what needs to be done on certain days while also having space for jotting down notes, goals, or short tasks. So I put in all of my assignments that have specific due dates and the obligations I have for different clubs and highlight what's most important. But I don't put everything that I want to do in my planner. I only put the things that must get done. So I create a to-do list for each day detailing my classes, commitments, and what I'd like to get done. First, I think about my schedule for each day this school week and put in the corresponding number of check boxes to the amount of time I'll have during that part of the day. Then I put in classes in green pen and other commitments in blue pen. I think it's really important to use calming colors rather than like reds or oranges because you don't want to feel anxious looking at your to-do list. Then I go in and add the different tasks that I'd like to get done at different times in the day this week. I use this method of check boxes rather than actual time blocking with beginning and end times because I found that I got way too stressed from creating a schedule and constantly underestimating how long things take me. I allot vaguely proportional amounts of time between other scheduled things. For the exam I'm preparing for, I'm using Google Keep to quickly create a list of things that I'd like to study in preparation. I use Google Keep first because I want to see all the items in one place to avoid missing anything. Then I incorporate those items into my daily to-do list throughout the week. I also leave some room between the lists for productive procrastination tasks, like responding to emails, organizing things, or getting food. The Google Calendar to Planner to To-Do List method helps me prioritize. Because my calendar has every possible thing I could do, the planner only has things I need to do, and the To-Do List has things I'd like to get done and what I need to get done. I find it really satisfying to cross things off my To-Do List, so I like having really segmented, thorough lists so I can constantly feel like I'm making progress. There's no right way to organize your thoughts and plan to be productive, but I hope this video gave you some inspiration on ways you might try to plan or change your current organization.